He wants you to ride Girl, I can see when I look at you There's no light in your eye Girl, take my hand, let me show you what I can just for the night Promise I don't wanna break your heart, wanna make you mine My actions be louder than all of my words you will see in due time He don't even know your favorite color But gets mad if he sees your moon on with some other Girl, I wanna love you, I wanna touch you in all the right places When we in the bed in a minute and it really got you switching faces well, 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 you know my motto. I don't make believe, I make believe was family. I'm your gracious host, Drummer, 1980 Helen from Columbia, South Carolina. I hope you're having a good day today. And if that's not the case, ask yourself this one by the question. Why? Because after all, remember, happiness is an inside job. Did you hear me? I say happiness is an inside job and it will always be an internal affair. Guys, I'm back one more time. I hope the family is okay, doing well. Kiss your mother, kiss your loved ones, go hug your pops, tell them you love them, guys. All right. If you haven't seen my last video prior to this, and go back and check that one out, okay? Because that one was definitely a born burner. But we're here today with a reaction from Dr. Umar Johnson. And this is a good showing, guys. And I have some receipts. I have some text messages from Kamala Harris' team and Umar Johnson. Allegedly, allegedly, okay? But I'm going to call your attention to the screen, guys. Get your popcorn and let's talk about the situation. Let's go. Black vote ain't for sale no more. Black vote ain't for sale. We barter in on business. We standing on business. Bring us some tangibles or get out of my face. Ricky Smiley, I love you. But crying on the radio for Kamala Harris, my brother? That's an all-time low. Don't do that again, Ricky Smiley. Don't you get on your radio show and cry for Kamala. Don't you do that, my brother. If you want to cry for Kabama Harris, if you want to cry for Kabama Harris, you do that in the privacy of your house. But if we're going to be honest, Steve Harvey and Ricky Smiley, and I love you both, no hate to my big brothers, but if we're going to be honest, Ricky Smiley and Steve Harvey, y'all only carried on because y'all got paid to carry on. Can we please be honest? Can we see? I want y'all to understand, overstand, and understand what King Kong is talking about. Y'all carried on because y'all got paid to carry on. Kamala Harris and the Democratic Plantation is paying you celebrities, paying you to shame black people into voting. Y'all know we're not going to get nothing out of that vote. Hold it, guys. Hold it. Because he said, I'm not fool. So let's start to unpack a few things. Ricky Smiley was crying on his show and all oh, that he was up in arms talking trash to black people and talking down on the black community basically, right? And I do agree with him. If he go get so emotional and, and do all that, do that behind closed doors somewhere, man. Because these crying Negroes be all over the news, CNN and Van Jones and they Roland Martin. Every time you turn around, they got crocodile tears in the eyes all the time. I mean, there's nothing wrong with a man crying in the right situation or something. His parents pass or something. His wife pass, his children pass, or something like that. But they crying about the Democratic Party. Listen to me, and I make no bones about it. I'm not loyal to the Democrats, Republicans, conservatives, the libertarians. None of them. None of them. Whoever want to come to the table and treat us like everybody else, treat us fairly. We're not asking for more than nobody else. We're asking for equal. We want our own stuff like you allocate to everybody else. It's just that simple. And I was sitting there thinking about something, guys. And this is no shot at Ricky Smiley. But him and Kamala Harris have something in common. They both pretend to be a black woman. God told me I didn't know what's wrong with drama. Oh, mm. Did you feel it? Let me say that one more time for the slow one sitting in the back. Great God Almighty. Woo. Did you hear me? I said Ricky Smiley and Kamala Harris have something in common. They both pretend to be black women. God, oh, I didn't know. Mm. 
And yes, they are paying celebrities like they always have. The elders have warned us. And the hand that pays most of the time calls the tune. Because once you don't dance by their music, they cut the money supply off. Y'all know we not going to get nothing out of that vote. Y'all know y'all not, we not going to get nothing out of the vote. But they being paid, y'all being bought. They offer me 10K for an interview with Kamala Harris. I don't want your money, but we can definitely do the interview. They offer me 10K for an interview with Kamala Harris. Yes, we can do the interview. Keep your damn money. King Kong consciousness ain't for sale. I'm one of the real ones. Silverback Garvey Gorilla. I'm one of the real ones. Silverback Garvey. Hold up, hold up. I'm going to say this. I would have took the money, but that still don't change anything. Because they're paying for my time. Just that simple. Just that simple. You see how I put that? You're paying for my time. So yes, you can pay me. But I'ma still ask the questions that I need to ask. If we can't come to terms with that, well, we don't have to sit down and have an interview or have a Zoom call. Okay? Be gorilla. Don't come to me with no propositions for money. I don't live for no money. I'm not one of these goofy ass rappers whose whole life is nothing but what you can buy and own. You dealing with real African DNA. This is real ancestral energy over here. I'm not no Ricky Smiley and Steve Harvey. You don't drop no check off and say, get the Negroes to the plantation on November the 4th. You don't drop no check off and say, get the Negroes to the plantation. Guys, look at your screen. This is a text message between Kamala Harris team and Dr. Umar Johnson, allegedly, right? It says, hello, Dr. Umar Johnson from the Harris 2024 team. You are a big part of the black community. Can you help us by completing a Zoom meeting with Vice President Kamala Harris paying, I believe it's a $10,000 or looking for about an hour of your time. Please advise if you would like to complete the Zoom call. Your help can get us across the finish line. Harris 2024. This is Dr. Umar response allegedly he said peace and pan-africanism i hope that all is well i'm not interested in your money however i am very interested in having the zoom conversation with vice president harris to discuss our needs and her plans for the black community this zoom must be live casted to the national black community and may not be pre-recorded i promise to be completely respectful to the vice president but i will ask direct questions about miseducation mass incarceration police brutality economic strangulation justification migrant crisis reparations and the need for a federal anti-black hate crime guys so as you can see he standing on business but i think he still should have took the ten thousand dollars because taking the money doesn't mean that you're a sellout it's what you do after that if you notice in the text message family it's a ten thousand dollars for an hour of your time that's what they're paying for your time not your loyalty do you understand i would have took the money and still had a conversation with her i stand on that listen at me guys if they contact me today next week in september or october and they say that they want to have a zoom call meeting with me and kamala harris 2024 and they was gonna give me ten thousand dollars for an hour of my time oh i would take it Yes, I would happily because they just compensate me for my time. My time is valuable, something that I can't get back. But at least they making the effort. Now, if they give you the money and then they put stipulations on it, well, you can't ask dad and you got to paint her in a good light. And I don't know. I said, no, 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 no. I don't want it. No, thank you. And notice this. Dr. Umar Johnson played it correctly in his response. He said, quote, verbatim, that he would be respectful towards the vice president. That's what you're supposed to do. Not like NABJ when they had Trump on it and they did sabotage. It looked like a hit piece. Sabotaging the man. And you can feel the tension in the vitriol coming through the host. You don't want to do people like that, especially when you invite them into your home. Family, you have to have a certain level of decorum and respect for the vice president or the former president. Okay. Not just get him in there and try to bludgeon him to death. Nah, you don't do that. So family, what would you have done? Would you take the money and have the interview? Or not take the money and have the interview? Or just decline the interview altogether? And be honest now. 
because people are reading your response. So just be honest. This is a safe space over here. Just to be honest and be transparent. Okay. Hit the subscribe button, guys, and come on back to see me. And until next time, peace. And remember, there is more Tangibles 2024, guys. <laughs>